Full time at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal 1, Manchester United 3. Um, it's not a scoreline that tells the story of the game. This won't be a video that tells the story of the game. There simply isn't time. One of the most enthralling and exciting Premier League matches I can remember seeing at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, and an extraordinary result, really, in the circumstances. Arsenal played very well. Played very well for the most part, uh, with the exception of those early errors. And I, you know, I feel like sometimes we come away from these big games and we say things like, well, as long as the team give everything, uh, you know, I don't mind if they lose. As long as I feel like they've given everything. And I don't think you could question that they did give everything today, almost especially once they went 2-0 down. They didn't let their heads drop. They didn't hide. Um, they played with pride and they played well. But they came up against a goalkeeper in fantastic form. Arsenal had 33 attempts on goal against a Jose Mourinho team. He can say what he likes about this performance, but defensively, that's a nightmare for him. 14 saves from David De Gea. That is, no goalkeeper has ever made more in a Premier League game, I, I believe. Certainly not this season. Uh, pretty astonishing stuff. And yet, we're on the losing side. Why? Well, I guess that is the real gripe of the day, those early defensive errors. I mean, Laurent Koscielny was at fault for the first goal, playing a dangerous crossfield pass. Kalasinac inexplicably stepped up, chose to try and intercept it instead of chasing back with his marker. And United took advantage with a very clinical counter-attack. Uh, the second goal, it was Mustafi who got caught. Uh, holding onto the ball for too long. Was he carrying an injury at that point? I don't know. He was withdrawn shortly afterwards. Perhaps he was injured in the instant where he was tackled. Um, but it wasn't pretty. And that back three of Montreal, Mustafi, Koscielny has been so consistent recently. But today, they took risks that you just can't take against a team of this quality. And we got away with it a couple of times against Huddersfield. We did not in this game. However, the fact that it was 2-0 at half-time was astonishing given the way in which we attacked, the chances that we had... Uh, I mean, it's hard to recall them all. Lacazette striking the crossbar was one. Shaka seemingly had to hit the target, uh, hit the post. As I say, De Gea was sort of everywhere. And uh, uh, whilst United were very good on the counter-attack, we did struggle to live with the power of Pogba and Lukaku. They were brushing Arsenal players off at will at times. Uh, we were a coherent attacking unit. And we actually switched to a back four after Mustafi went off and Wobi came on. Played the old 4-2-3-1 came out and uh, I thought we used that system pretty effectively. In the second half, we got just what we needed when we went ahead. Uh, went ahead, I wish. Got a goal back through Lacazette. A clip ball over the top for Alexis. Probably the only thing he did particularly well on the day. Um, didn't see a lot of love for him on social media. It wasn't a particularly good performance from the Chilean. But a lovely ball. It's the ball he always plays. Diagonal ball, left to right, for the corner of the box. Ramsey was there. He makes that run often. And a lovely cushion volley back into the path of Lacazette, who dispatched it past the head. No chance for the Spaniard on that one. And that was exactly what we were looking for. And you really felt like at that point we could go on and win it. I, unfortunately, the committing forward of players was always going to be a risk. Uh, and Lingard added a third after Pogba absolutely bossed Koscielny, really outmuscled him. I mean, this was a match in which you saw Laurent Koscielny's legs going a bit he looked old he looked like he struggled to live with the athleticism of some of the opposition players Martial, Lukaku, Pogba maybe three games in a week just too much for that Achilles maybe just too much at this age um, he's kind of the glue that holds this battle line together and don't get me wrong he had some good moments where he's tearing towards the byline going forward but I thought defensively some of his weaknesses were exposed today I think he just did he looked a bit of a shadow of his, his best self um I think there was a bad mistake as well in the, in the build-up to that third goal, concession of the ball, maybe by Alexis. I'd have to see it again, though. In the last 10 minutes, we could have had a couple of penalties. Welbeck clearly fouled, Lacazette clearly fouled. Pogba was sent off, marring an, an excellent individual display. Terrible challenge on Hector Bellerin. Um, although Koscielny arguably may be lucky to stay on after he took down Lukaku as the last man. Very cynical challenge. Uh, the Bellerin thing felt like a retaliation because Bellerin had gone in on Ashley Young, been booked for that, and then Pogba's thing about 30 seconds later, so I do wonder if there was an element of that. He lost his head, crazy thing to do, especially after such a good performance. Anyway, in the end, it wasn't to be. I mean, Arsenal couldn't have done much more, with the exception of those early errors, you know. Frustrating to see that happen, but heartening the way in which we played, 
And as an Arsenal fan who's kind of seen us lose in the same fashion time and time again, just not showing up for these big games, being out for, being out competed, I was encouraged to see us lose in a kind of a different way, a way where we actually played well, we were exciting to watch. Um, if you were a neutral, you would have been thrilled by some of the stuff we played playing for going forward. And on another day, we might have scored four or five goals. And to be honest, I haven't felt that about an Arsenal team for a long while. We scored five, five uh, four or five in the week, and we could have done the same today. This front three is exciting. Aaron Ramsey is in terrific form. So I hate losing to Manchester United, but uh, I feel more positive about it than I ordinarily would. Um, there was some some promising things out there just those defensive areas you cannot afford to do that too costly anyway we move on it's the Europa League uh, against Barte dead rubber on Thursday I somehow suspect that won't be quite as thrilling we'll see cheers guys